when p-type and n-type material are joined. Then a potential gradient exists due to ions. Electrons jump to recombine with holes, leaving a mobile charge carriers to form a juncture. Negative ions are created on the p-side of the juncture. Then p-side acquires a negative potential. Similarly, the positive ions created on the n-side gives the n-side a positive potential. The negative potential on the p-side tends to repel additional electrons that try to cross the juncture from n-side and the positive potential on the n-side tends to repel any additional holes that might cross the p-side. This the initial diffusion of charge carriers create a potential barrier. This potential barrier can be called as depletion region or offset regio or transition region or space charge regio. The potential barrier is negative on p-side and positive on n-side which restricts the recombination of electrons with holes. The magnitude of this potential can be calculated by considering doping densities, electronic charge and temperature. Depending upon the quantity of doping, the junction width will vary. Doping is inversely proportional to the square root of the potential width. Depletion region opposes flow of majority carriers and assists the flow of minority carriers. Across the junction that is called as drift current, the charge density rho depends on the amount of doping. The thickness of the depletion regio is of the order of the wavelength of visible light. That is 0.5 micrometers in the depletion regio. There are no mobile charge carriers. The space charge density is zero at the juncture. It is positive towards n-type and negative towards p-type. Diode is a bipolar device because current flows due to both minority and majority carriers. Typical values of barrier potential. Voltages of germanium and silicon is 0.3 volt and 0.7 volt, respectively at 25 degree centigrade.